If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRAYS to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up, it's X-Rays, and welcome back to another video. So we just got the blog post for Call of Duty Vanguard slash Warzone Season 2 Reloaded, which is coming on the 23rd. What? Literally two days from now? What What are they doing, bro? They, they can't do this to me. They can't hit me up with two days notice. But anyway, so let's talk about this blog post. We'll go through it. Uh, let me know if you guys are excited for season two reloaded. I am excited so I can finally come back to it just because I have not been playing a lot of Vanguard or Warzone. If I'm being honest with you guys, I've been playing a lot of Horizon Forbidden West. So it'll be interesting to see what's coming this season. And I'm excited. Hopefully I can complete my battle pass. <laughs> we'll see. The struggle is real. So with that said, let's talk about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. And if you guys want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, Control Freak, Aim Controller. I use them every single time that I play. Code OG Extras gets you a discount. Link down below to both of them. Uh, but anyways, with that said, let's talk about it. So first off, new weapon modes, maps, updates, and more locked in for Season 2 Reloaded. Season 2 Reloaded for Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone is set to reinforce the fight. From a new mode featuring vehicular combat to Rebirth Island's biggest update since its launch, operators may need to call for backup even with all, even with all of Task Force Yeti on the scene. And the smoke clears, and as the smoke clears, you may even find the OG known for going under deep cover Snoop Dogg. The action will begin in both games following two updates, one for Vanguard at 9 a.m. Pacific time on March 22nd and one for Warzone 9 a.m. Pacific time, March 23rd. Here's what to expect with Season 2 Reloaded, presented by Sledgehammer Games, Raven Software, Treyarch, and Beanox. Warzone Overview, Rebirth Island Reinforced. Perseus reconstruction of this island significantly altered several points of interest, including Stronghold, and added a new one known as Dock. Three modes given new life. Payload, Blood Money, and a new Resurgence solo mode will be featured in weekly playlists alongside classic rebirth mode. So that's pretty cool. It looks like the island is going to get a really big update. Get weapon blueprints, tons of XP, and new features. The new, uh, the rebirth resurgence, the rebirth. The Rebirth Reinforced event offers rewards for the entire community, including a weapon trade station and in-game events for Raven uh, for Rebirth Island. Rebirth Island Reinforced, the biggest map update since the original release. As operators trained up through Iron Trials, Perseus has begun reconstructing Rebirth Island's massive security measures from the shorelines inwards, and while the sun shines brighter on the island, Operators will notice sunnier and clearer skies. The better visibility is clouded somewhat as you learn to navigate around brand new areas. Of two ships stocked in the harbor, a stronghold completely revamped, and a prison yard developing underneath the iconic and repainted water tower, this is Rebirth Island reinforced. Stronghold revamped. As the lowest lying point of interest with few multi story buildings, the security area may not have been the most popular drop spot on Rebirth Island when it was first introduced. However, with Perseus Reinforced Project, this area, now known as Stronghold, features two new structures that could shake up the island's meta. The first is an extended checkpoint gate, complete with a set of garages, an administrative building, and a walkway over the main booth. Expect to find plenty of supply box and item spawns, as, we, as well as opportunities for close quarter engagement. The other is a radar building replaced alone communication tower on a raised circular concrete platform. Towering over the security area, this comm station includes an observational deck with great sight lines out to the base camp and living quarters areas around to the northeast. Supply ship drop anchor one on a new dock point of interest. Over dangerous waters at the factory and the helipad near the control center, two large supply ships have arrived. With no crew in sight, operators can explore the top and bottom decks of these ships for items and supply boxes. One of them is just outside the main Nova 6 factory. The other is a brand new point of interest dock, which extends the concrete helipad near the construction site out to the cargo vessel. Both ships can be accessed by walking across the gangplank via parkour, across shipping containers, or by flying down from the nearby structures such as cranes. 
fight for the areas by climbing up to the ship's accommodations or by taking a risky ascent to more exposed higher ground which could offer better sight lines to adjacent areas on the docks and other northern lookout areas. From prison yard, water tower, redeploy balloons and more. The revamped stronghold and dock ships are not the only changes to Rebirth Island. Head to the new main prison yard to see it partially reinforced and the construction materials being used on it, which can be used uh, as cover or, or, or as platforms for jumping onto guard, the guard wall walkways. Operators will also notice a completely repainted water tower with Perseus flags flying proudly off its sides. Those looking for height across the island can find the Caldera's redeployed balloons made their way to select spots around Rebirth Island. They are functionally similar, albeit with a shorter ascender cable to properly balance how much ground you can cover with them across the island. There are plenty more places to feature to explore on Rebirth Island following the update, but it's up to you fi to find them out. Three new and re returning modes. So we have Rebirth Resurgence Solos, we have Rebirth Payload and Rebirth Blood Money. If you guys want to read more on these, I'll have the link down below. I really don't want to go into literally everything because this video will be way too long. So after that, we've got want a legendary LMG blueprint. Looks like they did talk about the Rebirth Reinforced uh, unlock weapon trade stations and more. So this is actually kind of cool. Want a legendary LMG blueprint, hundreds of thousands of XP and even more new features for Rebirth Island. The Rebirth Island reinforced event set to launch at the start of season two reloaded is the latest community based experience where your actions on Rebirth Island actually contribute to Perseus rebuild. Like the previous events in Warzone, operators can complete participation challenges to earn new cosmetic items, conquer all of them to earn the legendary Toxic Heavy LMG Blueprint, custom configured for mid to long range fights. On top of these regular objectives are the community challenges. These larger tasks invite the entire Warzone community to drop into Rebirth Island. The first of these is just earning kills on the island. If the entire community earns enough kills following the update, those who participated will automatically receive 25,000 XP and unlock the new weapon trade station on the island. Weapon, straight, weapon trade stations allow an operator to give up their weapon in exchange for one of lesser quality plus additional items depending on the original weapon's rarity. Those items can include cash, equipment, armor satchels, self revive kits, kill streaks, or even a specialist token. There will be three more community challenges following this first one, each one granting tens of thousands of XP and additional features like communication stations, armored transport vehicles, and even redacted. Learn more about Rebirth Island revamp with special commentary from developer Beanox in a POI guide coming tomorrow to the Call of Duty blog. Vanguard overview. So I'm, I'm excited for Vanguard. New 12v12 mode, trek across the Alps to capture or take on bases to dominate the enemy, building your loadout with cash earned from eliminations and objective play. So I am interested in this 12v12 mode. Explore the Alps with new ve vehicles, call in motorcycles, CD12s, transport vehicles and tanks to travel across the, across the snow and ice between bases. Climb to the top of new rewards and rank play. Treyarch developer delivers the top 250 skill divisions and leaderboards, new season 2 rewards, and party and menu updates for competitive fans. Zombies gets new covenant, dedicated server pods, and more. That's actually kind of cool that they finally added that. Treyarch is set to introduce critical expertise and explosive expert covenants, plus additional updates for Vanguard zombies. A brand new 12v12 mode across the Alps. 12 Season 2 Reloaded will bring a new large map mode to Vanguard, one that involves trekking across a snow-covered mountainside with new vehicles to build a formidable loadout. This new mode, Arms Race, will take place on the Alps, the largest map in Vanguard set, in Task Force Yeti's main area of operations. Drop in across the Alpine Tundra from its ice over the lake to the mountain's fortresses and capture all the bases to win. Once a base is captured, operators can choose to respawn at the base or at any of the captured points on the map, in addition to spawning in other fellow squad members. So it kind of seems like Battlefield. <laughs> base automatically, uh, bases automatically set up the gates for the defending teams within allowing safe passage for allies and shutting itself when enemies are nearby. By default, two out of the Alp 7 potential bases will already be taken out of commission, making it five bases to fight for supremacy. To help your case, to help your cause, every friendly base contains several buy stations similar to a scene on Champions Hill, where you can use cash earned by com uh, by capturing objectives or picking it up from enemy players to purchase weapons, equipment, killstreaks, 
field upgrades, or even use your custom loadouts as long as you have the cash for it. We have a couple new vehicles, the motorcycle, the CD12, and the tank are coming to this, which is actually kind of cool. Ranked play, top 250 skill division leaderboards in season. It looks like they have an update here for the ranked play. And again, if you guys want to see these, I'll have the link down below. Uh, I really don't want to go super in depth on all of these because it's just, it's going to take literally forever. Looks like there's going to be some new ranked play rewards, ranked play skill ratings, restrictions, and UI updates, zombie covenants, and additional updates. So if you like zombies, this might be one that you focus on, but this year's zombies has been kind of a letdown for me personally. So every update, I'm kind of like, oh, well, that's interesting, but I'm not really <laughs> super pumped about it. Uh, so we have, it looks like uh, an overview. We have wheeled. Uh, it looks like we have some new weapons, maybe? I don't know. This, I don't know. Complete Task Force Yeti with Gustav Dos Santos. The Brazilian agent will arrive as part of Season 2 Reloaded. Pick him up from and uh, for the squad and get those shiny gold and platinum threads for Task Force Yeti. Will the Ama Armaguerra 43 build an effective CQB close quarter battle or mid-range loadout with this free new weapon? Yes, new weapon! Pro Pack Boston Breach uh, CDL Pack hits the store. What's my redacted name? The new operator who never hesitates to put anyone on their back is dropping in the Vanguard and Warzone, close to one of the most, uh, one of his most favorite holidays. New weapon, the Armaguerra 43 SMG, which actually looks kind of dope. High, very high rate of fire SMG, effective at short to medium ranges. So it looks like this is truly an SMG. We have Snoop Dogg <laughs> coming later on as a pack. Jesus. Island Expedition Pro Pack as well, uh, which looks kind of cool. It actually looks kind of dope. I like the outfit. Uh, Boston Breach Team Pack, which comes with these items over here. Uh, Tracer Pack Attack of Titan Mastercraft Bundle. I feel like we already saw that, but the last thing I want to see is I kind of want to go up all the way to the top just so we can see this Season Reloaded mini thing here. Kind of gives you an overview of everything, really, but we've got... New mode, arms race, new map, Alps, new vehicles, the CD12 transport, the Sherman tank, the motorcycle, ranked play, new skills division, and new rewards for that. For Warzone, we've got the Rebirth Island update. We've got the Rebirth reinforced event, which has new challenges and rewards. New Rebirth Island updates, which includes the dock, the prison courtyard, and stronghold. New modes in Rebirth uh, in Warzone, which is Rebirth payload, Rebirth blood money, Rebirth resurgence solos. New Rebirth Island features, which include the redeploy balloon and the weapon trade station. And then for Warzone and for Vanguard, we've got new weapons, operators, and more, which we have Gustavo for the new operator, the Armaguerra 43 SMG for the new weapon, the Call of Duty League event, which is Resurges Rebirth Island, which is kind of cool that they're doing a CDL event for that. And then new bundles, the Island Expedition Pro Pack, the Toxic Valkyrie, and Snoop Dogg as well. So pretty cool i'm kind of excited for this update let me know what you guys think in the comment section below but thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next upload take care thank you so much for watching and uh if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you're new make sure to subscribe with notifications on it and if you want to support the channel directly you can do so by checking out my sponsors control freak aim controller i use them every single time that i play code og extras gets you a discount to both of those guys linked down below uh, and then if you guys want to talk interact at og extras over on twitter give me a follow over there i'm usually on there talking about not just call of duty but a bunch of other stuff so give me a follow link down below you guys have an awesome day take care i'm out peace